Direct Kitchen. And on this Cultural Diversity Day, we have the one and only Chef Mary Jane. It's always good to have you as my sous chef. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to do that much because the red oil <laughs> and my outfit, definitely going to mess with you. They don't mix right now. But she's from Cadine's Soup Pot. And trust me, that soup pot. What are we making today? Okay, so we'll be making um, native... Um, Native rice, okay, and I'll be serving it with um, air fried fish. Air fried fish, yes, something okay. very simple, healthy, okay. easy to make, and mm. not really expensive. All right. to make. So when they say native rice, what exactly do they mean? Look at the ingredients on the okay. On the screen um, mm. For me, native rice is um, making gel the normal jollof rice protocol, but the difference is that it has palm oil instead of vegetable oil. Okay. And I can put my pomo or poro fishes mm -hmm. in it, also. and to make it even boom. Having the um, scent leave in it, which makes it wow. It's okay. always something else. All right. Always something so else. So this this is an interesting mix of flavors, and not the average sort of ingredients you would see for jollof. Yes. So native rice needs all these. So let's uh, go over these ingredients. We have onions. Mm -hmm. We have um, tomato, fresh tomato. Yeah. I have tomato paste. I have palm oil. Okay. I have um, grinded pepper. Okay. So that grinded pepper you pointed to, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. It's grinded pepper. The How difference is the process. I actually boiled it okay. so that I can use it anytime I want to use it without having to... Or let me use the word, I pasteurized it. Oh, so you, you boil it down till... Yeah. I don't have any moisture. water in it. Yeah. So how long would that last, essentially? Mm, sometimes, for me, I buy pepper almost every week. So mm. one good thing is I don't have to grind all the time. Okay, okay. <laughs> and what's in the pot Okay, right now? I'm parboiling the rice because I want to have my food cooked a little Ooh, faster. Okay. So my rice is so being parboiled. This is normal rice. Normal nothing, rice. Nothing too different. No. Uh, long grain rice. Normal rice. You okay. could use whatever kind of rice you want to use. Mm -hmm. What is important is the flavors that the fishes and all the whole see everything gives yeah. you. All right. That's all right. it, basically. So, so the, you know, there's some types of rice dishes that need the starch, and then there are some that don't. Hmm. So uh, is this one of those I really dishes? want it staying on its own, like okay. single-seeded. Okay. So I'm actually taking off the starch. I'm not going to cook it for so long. Okay, all right. So I'll That's be fantastic. sieving it in... Like right now. All right. I can see you have some protein here. Let's talk a bit about what you you need to do with this protein. Okay, so I have stockfish. I have um, what we call oporo. This is dry prawns. Okay. I have dry fish. I have um, pomo. Pomo. Yes. Cowhide. On TV. This pomo. This pomo. <laughs> diced this one. Diced cowhide. Yeah. Has it been boiled? Has it been. Um... It hasn't properly been boiled. Okay. For me, I can't eat this directly. Oh, okay. So it's well is this rice is on fire that I'm going to put it in oh, so that right. it cooks together with the rice. You want the pomo to cook inside the rice? Yes, it also has its own flavor. Ew. Okay, inside rice. <laughs> inside I've never rice. cooked pomo inside We're rice going before. to see what it's going to look like. <laughs> okay, let's talk a bit so about So we have um, crayfish. Yeah. This is grounded crayfish. Mm -hmm. So this is my mackerel fish. I'm going to be mackerel. We also call it titus fish. Mm -hmm. I'll be using it to air fry my... I'm going to air fry the fish, okay. and I have some seasonings for it. Well, one of the seasonings is suya spice. Okay, okay. Just okay, one okay. of the seasonings. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so all those spices and flavors, I know you heard them right there at home. Mm -hmm. You can also smell them in your mind. <laughs> all right, now you're still in the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen with Chef Mary Jane. She is the CEO of Cadine's Soup Pot, and she's been making sumptuous meals for us right here on Wake Up Nigeria from, what, is it three, four years now? Four. Four years, goodness me. Whenever we have uh, cultural diversity ac activities uh, on the show, we always look forward to having Chef Mary Jane with us. So what are you doing right now in the pot? What's so I have there? just made the sauce a few minutes ago, okay. and um, I have my stock fish. Mm. My prawns, you can see the aroma has already changed. Yeah, yeah. Then I have my dry fish in here. Mm -hmm. I have um, my cow hiding here and the stock fish in here. I'm just waiting for okay. it to boil up mm -hmm. so that I can just put the rice like mm. the normal way you make your jollof rice. So this isn't thick. This mm, is no. um, loose, very loose. Yes. But it's basically oil and water. Right? No. Oil and I water. I fried tomato. Oh, there's, there's tomato fresh in there. Okay. tomato sure. and... Um, 
tomato onions. paste. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Normally, beautiful. onions will always be your base for. Yeah, of course. So it's normal jollof rice. Mm -hmm. The difference is the oils and the things that go into it. Amazing. The flavors coming out of there it's are something else. Yeah. Which is still going to be a banger. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we're going to be putting in here is um, my parboiled rice. Yeah, parboiled rice. So you didn't let this rice get soft at all, did you? No, because I still want it to cook together with it. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. So, we are good to go. I've always had a challenge with being able to gauge how much rice I should put into the, um, the well, I'm going to call it stock, the mm. jollof stock. Right? Well, um, in order not to make any mistake, just put your stock one side and you put in mm. the water according to how... Soft oh. you want it to be. Okay. So do, do I um, basically maybe separate, divide the, the liquid into two, like the way they do for Amala. Divide the liquid into two and then put in the rice and then gradually add Keep the... Keep putting it in. Yes. Well, for me, I'm <laughs> very, very used to making rice. So yeah. somehow, I don't know how my mind just tells me it's working. Okay. It just, it, it you just, just gauge works. it mentally. It just works for okay. me. I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. But I okay. sure know that at some point, I'm going to add more water here. Oh, okay. Sure okay. okay. So I'm mm. going to cover it. The mm. same way you do jello rice. Yeah. You, don't, you want the steam to cook it. Okay. So already, my pot is um, airtight. Yeah. So I don't need to look for um, uh, the foil and all that. It's air. Tight already, so okay. I'm just going to let it do its own thing All right. while I move on to my fish. fish. So, this fish is a really lovely color, I have to say. It has this <laughs> bluish gray tinge on it. I just I've, love Titus fish for so many reasons. I was talking to a particular lady and she said there's also fake Titus. What yes. does that mean? It's not fake, it's just the. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not fake. The difference is in. Um, <laughs> what, what are you looking that for? That just made me laugh. You know when I they almost say got there's confused. Titus, Titus no, fake. No, no, it's, it's just the she sushi. Said. Okay, okay. There is Argentina, and okay. the there is one other name like that. Okay. It doesn't make you think. It's just that they don't <laughs> taste the like. same. Yes. All right, so what are we doing with okay, the Okay, so I want to marinate my fish, but I had already done some marination mm. earlier where I soaked my fish with some salt water. Mm. So um, I want to air fry yes. my fish, and sometimes I just like to remove the ice. You know, fish mm. ice, anything has yes. this kind of aroma and taste. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to add a little lemon. Lemon. To lemon. neutralize. The smell. Yes. Okay. Sorry, okay. I just like doing things the normal way. I'm not in the mood for the gadgets. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, um, when it comes to fish, and it's when sushi, you know sushi? Mm, sushi. I always hope to eat that. Really? Once. You've never tasted sushi? <laughs> so sushi to. sometimes is cured with, with lemon, lemon. And they okay. say that the lemon, the acidity of the lemon actually cooks the fish. Wow. So you've begun the cooking process. That looks good. Right already now. It's already tasting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so right. I have my pepper soup spice here. Mm. I'm just going to add in a bit of it to give it some nice... Um... <laughs> pepper soup spice. <laughs> Sorry, Let's I go. didn't say pepper soup. Uh, I said suya. Suya. Okay, I actually said pepper soup. Yeah, so it's sweet. suya spice. This is my suya okay, spice. Okay, suya spice. So, mm. um, Yaji, right? Yes. This is my seal spice. Okay. I'm going to add in a bit of salt. Okay. Yeah. I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I could actually gauge it yeah. on my so own. So a pinch of salt. Yes. Or two pinches. I could actually point. gauge it on my own. Just a second. Mm -hmm. So if, for instance, I don't have any of these spices like the yaji, mm -hmm. right? Um, the lemon actually did the magic. Okay. So I, if I don't have yaji, what could I use? You can still use your normal curry and um, thyme. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. It all depends fantastic. on mm -hmm. what you want so to eat. So right now, we're making native rice, rice. Yes. for our Cultural Diversity Day. And these are the ingredients that you could use to make yours. Now, if you're trying this at home, hopefully you are, please make sure you make a video of it and tag us with the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Let's see how you did. Uh, these are some ingredients you can find in and around your home. You don't have to make a whole huge pot of it. Just maybe a little, just to try it out, and maybe it could become your weekend meal. Yeah. I'll so just wish right here. here. I hope my plate is here. Oh, no. I did, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. Oh, wow. 
We have Chef Mary Jane. Well, we well, have Mary Jane. Nice to meet you. <laughs> now she mm -hmm. is one of the chefs that has been with us for at least four years on mm. Wake Up Nigeria. Oh, wow. She's she's one of the veterans wow. on this show. She's from Cadin Soup Pot, yes, nice um, nice and she's put you. together yeah. native rice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we are not going to go over all the details mm -hmm. because they're. In fact, mm. what if you missed it? Go on to YouTube so you can catch it again and yeah. try yours at home and show us on social That's media. Did, yeah. Let's just give you this Ooh, to taste. Okay, this looks yeah. beautiful. All right. Okay. So Enjoy. please have a taste. I must add something. Yes, please. I hope you're not allergic to dry prawns. No, prawns. No, no allergic. Stop fish. No, I'm not. Okay, you're beautiful. not allergic to anything no, anymore. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I'm, I'm a proper Nigerian girl. All right. Okay. Okay. Please okay, this looks have cool. a taste. This looks very yummy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank please you. enjoy. Oh. Well, I gloat. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Okay, so good. She's going in for another yep. spoon. Mm -hmm. She's going in for well another spoon. Done. Well done. Mm -hmm. That is what happens with yummy. Chef Caddy's food. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming thank to join you. us. Thank Mary, you. Thank, you. thank you for joining us as well. It's been great. And okay. hopefully you've had a great week with us on Wake Up Nigeria. Yay! We're going to be back here again on Monday morning, of course, from 7 a.m. But today is Cultural Diversity Day. A big shout out to the entire team at TVC Communications for putting together this event. Uh, we Mazino. are dancing hmm? out. Mazino, yes. I won. I'm still trying yeah. to draw.